Hi, in this video I'll show you how to add fractions. So imagine a case whereby you're given 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. Before you do this question, you need to understand a few things. We first um, have to identify our numerator and, it, and, the, and our denominator. So here, this one and this one here are called numerators. So I'm just going to designate them with, um, with an N. They are numerators, N for numerator. And then here, at the bottom, these are called denominators. I'm going to designate them with an um, D for denominator so that you remember it when I do the calculations. Now let's continue. Okay, so you have to add 1, plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. So in this case, because the bases are the same, let me rewrite it here. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is going to be equal to... When bases are the same, you just choose... The, um, you just choose, Let's say, for example, we have 2 and 2 here. You just put 2 here. You see? And then you then add the numerators together. So you're going to have this 2 here. I mean, this 1 there. 1 plus this 1 here. And then you're going to say 1 plus 1. That's going to be equal to 2. And then you carry um, over these two here. And a number divided by itself is equal to 1. Even if this was 3 over 3, even if it was 4 over 4, or 10 over 10, it would be 1. That's what you would get. So this is how you add fractions with um, the same denominator. Let's look at another example um, where the denominators are the same. Let's say you have 5 over 4 plus um, 3 over 4. Again, because the denominators are the same, you have a 4 and a 4 there, just put a 4 here. And then add the numerators. So we're going to add 5 and 3. Right? And then you're going to take this 4, carry it, carry it over. And then you're going to add this 5 and this 3, they're going to give you 8. And then if you have 8 over 4, this is going to be 2. If you have a calculator close to you, you, will, you should be able to find the answer um, very easily. So if you have, you have to use your, 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 your mathematical skills to find the answer, you would have to just say, how many 4s go into 4 once? How many 4s go into 8? They go 2 times. So the answer will be 2 over 1. 2 over 1 is equal to 2. Any number, let's say for example 2 over 1 or 3 over 1 or 5 over 1, any number is equal to that number if it has a base of 1. Just like these ones here. So I hope you can see this one. Now let's consider a case where the bases are not the same. Imagine you were given 3 over 6, I mean 3 over 7 plus 1 over 6. Or let, let me say 2 over 6, just to make it a, a bit complicated. If the bases are not the same, what you need to do is to just multiply them. So you're going to say, um, I mean, the, the denominators, like 6 and 7 are the denominators. So if, because they are not the same, you, what you need to do is to just multiply them. You're going to say 7 multiplied by 6. 7 times 6 is equal to 42. And then what you're going to do is you're going to ask yourself, how many 7s... How many 7s go into 42? There are 6 7s in 42. So what you're going to do, you're just going to say 6 multiplied by that 3 there. By that 3. Again, you're going to ask yourself how many 7s go into 42? There are 6 7s in 42. So you're just going to say 6 multiplied by 3. Plus, how many 6s go into 42? There are seven sixes going there, so you're going to say seven multiplied by the two on top of that six. You see? And then, oh, by the way, this three here is that one there, and this two is this two here. The only thing you did was that you just multiply them uh, respectively by the number of times their denominators go to 42. You see? So six times three is equal to 18. 7 times 2 is equal to 14 and you have 42 at the base at the bottom or at the de denominator 18 plus 14 is equal to what? 32 so 32 over 42 now you ask yourself which number goes into 42 and 32 at the same time the highest possible number 1 goes in both 
two goes in both and I think no other number higher than two goes into both numbers you see so that number we call it the lowest common factor of 42 and 32 so it's two two goes into 42 um, how many times 21 times and 2 goes into 32 16 times so the answer will be 16 over 21 and if you have this answer here you can see that we cannot reduce it any further because there are no two numbers that go uh, perfectly in 16 and 21 that's how we do this question okay let's look at this one you can go ahead and try to do it okay so in, in this one again you're gonna apply the same rule you're gonna add so you're gonna multiply 7 with 5 because the denominators are the same you have to multiply them again so 7 times 5 is going to be equal to 35 and then you're going to ask yourself how many 5 how many times does 5 go into 35 5 goes into 35 7 times that 7 is going to be multiplied by the 2 that's on top of 5 this 2 here and then you're going to ask yourself, how many times does 7 go into 35? 7 goes into 35 5 times. That 5 is going to be multiplied. Um, it's going to be multiplied with this 3 that's on top of 7 here. Oh, and by the way, um, if you want to know how you would find how many times 5 goes into 35, you can just say 35 divided by 5. The answer you get is the number of times 5 goes into 35, into 35. For example, 35 divided by 5 is equal to 7. 7 is the number of times you get um, when you ask how many times 5 goes into 35. Okay, so now let's go to, let's continue with the question. 7 times 2 is going to be equal to 14. 5 times 3 is going to be equal to 21. And then, I mean 15. <laughs> I'm saying 14 here. This is 15. And then 35 at the bottom. So 15 plus 14 is equal to 29 over 35. So that's what you would get. We can't reduce this number any further, so just leave it as it is. If you like my video, please make sure that you share it with your friends, like, comment, and give suggestions as to which videos you would like to see in future. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.